Pastor Belinda, and welcome to Knowing Him. I want to share with you about Knowing God today, the name of our program. And we're going to look at a few scriptures here in just a moment. But the Apostle Paul talked about knowing the Lord. In his life, he had lots of successes and he had lots of education in his life. And in Philippians chapter 3, he lists some of those. He says, I was circumcised when I was eight days old. He says, I was a pure blood citizen of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a, tree, a true Hebrew, if there ever was one. He says, I was a member of the Pharisees, the strictest of the Jewish law. He said, I was so zealous in my life that I persecuted Christians. And he says, and as for righteousness, I obeyed the law without fault. But one thing he said that I thought was so important, he said, I... I looked at all of those things at one time in my life and I saw them as valuable, but now I count them as worthless. He didn't see that those things were something to hold on to. And what he counted more valuable was anything and everything in his life that was more valuable than all the accolades and success that he has. He says that I might know him. In uh, 1st 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 11 it says for the uh, the which cause I also suffer things nevertheless I am not ashamed for I know in whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I've committed to him until that day and so why do we want to know Christ? Why do we want to make that part of our life? In uh, Philippians chapter 3, verse 10, in the Amplified says, For my determined purpose is to know him. Paul made it his first priority to know God, that I may come to know him and progressively come, to, come into a deeply and more intimately relationship with him. Uh, he said, all of this other stuff is inferior that I may know Christ personally. Why do we want to know God? In Ephesians chapter 3 verse 19, it says that we may come to know for experience the love of God and experience the love of God. One of the reasons why we want to get to know God is that we can show others how he is and how his relationship is. It says other disciples that met with Jesus. It says that they, the people knew that they had been in fellowship with him, that they knew they, had, they were his disciples because they, there was something about them. They took note of them that they had been with Jesus. So others will notice your relationship with him when you come to know him. And Esther, it talked about that people wanted to become Jews because of her relationship with God and the powerful things that he did for them because of her relationship. Why do we want to get to know God? We want to do his works. In the uh, second Corinthians chapter three, verse two, it says you are an epistle read of all men and that uh, people will recognize the good works that we have. So people will see the good works that are in your life when you when you fellowship and get to know God. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, under good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. So God has created us. He's made us his epistle. He made us his love letter, read of all men, so they can see our good works and recognize our relationship that we have with God. It is said of Daniel in the three Hebrew children. It says that um, those that know their God, they shall do strong, be strong and do great es exploits. They did great things because they knew God. They fellowship with him. They even went against law in order to fellowship and spend time in the presence of God. So we're not asking you to do that necessarily to break the law, but if it's necessary, do so. We're asking you to get to know your father. In John chapter 14, verse 17 says that he will be with you and he will be in you. So he's accessible to you to get to know him. He's your heavenly father and you have access to the, uh, to the heavenly father. So we ask you to go in and fellowship with him and get to know him. We thank you for being with us today. Uh, make sure that you get to know him to make him known.